Oh, we've got the Corvette everyone wants. A 1967 Coupe is one of the few cars where the Coupe is worth as much or more than a convertible. The Coupes are more rare than the convertible because of that nice body line. That's what makes them so desirable. The 67 was the last year of this style. We've got a body off frame restored, uh, number match motor, trans color, has power steering, power brakes, 327 four speed. I've just bought this car back from the gentleman I sold it to 17 years ago. While he had it, he did a body off frame restoration. Here's a bunch of the uh, documentation and receipts. Also, we've got a very old, frail, dirty uh, tank sticker, but it does have a tank sticker. There's a picture of it on our website. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures, read the information, and you'll find a price tag on every car along with a monthly finance option, and they'll go 144 months to make it real easy for you. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe, click on our bell icon. That way you're notified when the next video is posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, underneath the car is really nice. That's very impressed. It's like a detailed, uh, you know, high quality factory original type restoration under the car. They took the body off the frame, the underbody, they've cleaned it right down to the raw bare fiberglass. That's the way it should be. And it's all nice and clean. Uh, it has a rear spare tire carrier, all in nice shape. So all the suspension and chassis was taken apart, prepped, painted, rebuilt. Of course, these are independent suspension front and back, and it was all rebuilt. The bushings, the U-joints, the, the shocks, uh, you name it, all rebuilt front and back, rebuilt steering. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, has the side exhaust. There's no exhaust under the car. Four-wheel disc brakes, that was all done. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's spotless Chevy orange. has a canister-type uh, uh, oil filter. Uh, the starter looks fresh, has the VIN number matching correct Muncie four speed for this car. In back, it has its original rear end. It's a 336 gear. Uh, so underneath this car, you know, e-brake cables, the nuts, the bolts, the clamps, the, the fuel lines, brake lines, you name it. Underneath this car is practically like brand new. Um, <clears throat> The body, the body's in excellent shape. Again, the coupes are very desirable. It has that, that awesome body line, so sleek looking. Uh, these are very uh, difficult cars to come by. You can find roadsters much easier. Look for a 67 coupe, uh, very far and few between. Anyway, the body looks fantastic. The headlights line up, the hood lines up. I don't see any cracks, damage. I don't see any body work showing. I don't see any issues. This is all really nice, straight too. Excellent. I don't see any damage or body work or cracking. This is all real nice. Now these doors, they gotta fit all the way around. They go right up into the roof. This one fits very well. Shuts real nice. No issues. All real nice. Looking at the fiberglass, the body, all real nice. I don't see any issues. It's fantastic. A lot of times they crack around the antenna. There's none of that here. It's all looking really nice. This side's just as good. Door lines up beautifully. Shuts beautifully. It is the original front clip. There's a body seam. Uh, it's you know a quick way to tell, and it has it on both sides. So yeah, the body is actually fantastic. I don't see any flaws with that. It's repainted its original Lindale blue, uh, kind of an unusual color. Or you don't see it too often. I think it's beautiful. It's kind of like a, a charcoaly uh, blue color. Uh, it's smooth and glossy. There's some minor imperfections. There's really no nicks or chips or anything like that. There's some little uh, drips down at the very bottom, some runs in the clear that they could have you know, sanded out a little bit, little, a little piece of dust or dimple or, I mean, very minor. I'm looking for something to tell you about, so you know I'm being honest with you, but uh, practically there's not a flaw on the body or paint, to be honest. 
Uh, so the trim around the windshield looks like it's been restored or replaced. Probably the original windshield because it does have a faint wiper mark up here in the corner. Uh, we have our sticker over the, uh, the label. The rubber is soft around the vent window. Door handles real nice. The side exhaust system is in excellent shape. The back window is crystal clear. Trim is real nice. The emblem, the bumpers, taillights, all that's beautiful. The gas cap, real nice. Has the correct antenna. Yeah, outside the car is looking really sharp. Has the bow tie mirror. The wheels, they're the 15 inch rally wheels. The trim looks all new and shiny. Those are radial red line tires in pristine uh, looking shape. We'll open the headlights later on in the video. Front bumpers are real nice. Yeah, the outside of this car is fantastic. Let's see how it is inside. Well, there's no trunk to open back here, but again, I wanted you to really take a moment and look at the body line. Here's this crease that goes all the way up and over the roof, the curved rear window. Just a sleek looking car. My dad was selling these back in the early 70s. We had pictures. We had them all lined up, big blocks, you name it. And uh, I used to ride in the back. No car seat, no seat belts, probably three years old or so, riding in the back of these. The door jams are very respectable. There's nothing wrong with them, but they're not pristine. Uh, the rubber is very good, not perfect. Some of the rubber might be some of the original that I sold on the car uh, when I sold it to them. Door panels are mint. The dash area is really nice. Both uh, dash pads are excellent. The instruments are nice and clean. They all look stock. Radio, the knobs. All that's real nice. Glove box store is probably new. Uh, has a reproduction owner's manual in the pouch. The glove box liner. The carpets are a little uh, faded, a little discolored slightly. They're probably the same carpets. He did a frame off restoration, but he didn't do everything. The center console's beautiful. The reverse lock <coughs> lockout shifter. He did have the seatbelts professionally restored. It was several hundred dollars. Uh, this piece of plastic here is cracked. Uh, he did have the seats recushioned and reupholstered in genuine leather. I love it when these have leather uh, upholstery. Um, in back, carpet's in real nice shape. It all fits nicely. The uh, jack is mounted there where it's supposed to be. The backs of the seats are real nice. Steering wheel's real nice. Headliners in great shape and the visors and all that's real good. You know, there's no interior lights. Uh, they told me the battery's disconnected as an on-off switch. Nope, no, it's just disconnected. Okay, so there's the motor. It's a number matching 327, 300 horsepower. It's been upgraded to 350 spec. So it has a 350 aluminum intake, the valve covers, a little different cam. But look at how nice everything is properly detailed. Uh, the correct dated expansion tank, spring clamp uh, battery cables. Uh, it's all nice and neat. Look at the suspension, how nicely it's painted. The right Proper radiator, shroud, fan, alternator looks new. We do have power steering down there, and we got power brakes, two very desirable options. It has the complete uh, ignition shielding, uh, the upper and even the lower down by the spark plugs. And I'm telling you, I'm here in person. The wiring looks new, the clamps, the right hoses, everything looks very, very proper, clean, fresh. Very nice car. Love the roar of those pipes.
when we were filming the interior, we did not have the battery hooked up. As soon as we hooked it up, your interior lights work. Even the clock is ticking. The gauges are working good. It's got good oil pressure. So there you have it, folks. I'm not saying this is a perfect car, but it's a very nice example of a very desirable 67 VEP coupe. Number match, frame off restored, power steering, power brakes, side pipes, shifting them gears, listening to them pipes. What a great way to spend a Sunday morning. Go to volocars.com. <clears throat> Salesmen can help you. They can help get this delivered. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and click on that bell icon so you're notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.